Hi everyone and welcome to this quick run through on how auto enrollment is going to work within Thesaurus Payroll Manager. So as you will see when you download Thesaurus 2026, you'll see we have two new icons here. So we have 2A and we also have 6A, which I'll go through in a couple of minutes. So when you're running your first pay run within Thesaurus 2026, you, what you first need to do is you need to call on your RPNs, okay? Because when you bring everyone from 2025 to 2026, they will all be on emergency basis. So to get them off emergency basis and onto the correct tax credits and cutoff points, we need to retrieve their RPNs. Okay, so when we have all that um, in, we're just gonna click on update and update complete okay and we're going to close this screen now the next thing that you will need to do is we need to go to 2a so this is going to call on the aepn from nearsha so when you click on this um it's going to bring everyone in that is to be that's sorry that's been auto enrolled that we need to take deductions from so you will see here the, the employee and the employer contributions are both at 1.5%. Anyone that has zero, there will be no deduction taken from them. So we're just gonna press close here. And that's all your employees that are on that AEPN enrolled in the automatic enrollment Nearsha pension scheme. So when this is done, we then, we then advise our customers to click into my future fund here and to send the employees welcome letters. So you can select all. You can print them or email them, whichever you have selected. And just to give you a kind of a preview of what they're going to look like, like it's going to have all the information here to the employee of what they need to know um, about them being enrolled into this scheme. Okay, so once you have that done, it's then time to start processing your payroll. So that's when we go into the third icon. Now, within um, when you're processing the payroll, you will not see the AE pension deductions within here because this is for your company pension scheme. Where you will see the deductions been taken is when you click on update file and you'll see here under net pay, you have my future fund for the employee's contribution and under payment, you will see my future fund for the employer's contribution. So once we have all our payroll ran and updated, we're then going to update the pay slips under icon number five. So I'm just going to click on update, run through the normal process, and then you will see that we have an outstanding submission here for our PSR and one for Nearsha. Okay, so we're going to do the PSR first. And as always, we click on prepare PSR and we're going to submit that to revenue. So once that's been uploaded and accepted successfully, you will get the response from revenue um, just saying submission successful. So we're going to close on that. And then we are going to send our contributions, our pension contribution file over to Nearsha by clicking on 6A. So in here again, we need to click on prepare contribution file and you will see all the employees that have been enrolled you will see their gross pay and the employee and the employer contribution. Okay, then we're going to just click on send file to Nearsha. You do have the option to view it, but for this video, we're just going to click on send file to Nearsha. So the most important thing that you're looking for here down at the bottom is this. So the contribution upload status is success. Okay, so that means that Nearsha have received that contributions file and they have that over with them successfully all right then we're going to close so that is your payroll run 
with your auto enrollment enabled, processed and submitted. If you do need to do a correction um, at any stage on, on or before the pay date, so 6.30 of the pay date, 6.30 p.m., you can go into corrections and choose the option to do it all again. Um, now, I just want to emphasize that it needs this needs to be done before half six, 6.30 p.m. on the pay date that the payroll is processed um, because Nearshill won't accept any late submissions. So we just click in here and as normal, if you needed to do a correction, you would just click on reverse last update. So my payroll has been successfully reversed and then I need to send my corrections Ross submission. As I sent my PSR, I press OK. And then we need to send the correction submission then to Nearsha by clicking on submit. And then once you have the confirmation that that's been successful, you can then go and rerun your payroll and send your PSR and your AECS again then to Revenue and Nearsha. So in here under My Future Fund, you will see the AEPNs, what has been brought in, what submissions you've made and a log as well of those AEPNs and AE submissions. In any of the reports here under the payroll summary audit trail, you will also see the um, AE employee, this new column here, and you will also see the AE employer contributions on those reports. So I'm just going to click on close on that and then that's that's it then with the auto enrollment within Thesaurus Payroll Manager.